Hi there, my name is Katie Saints and this video is to discuss ADHD. This is a really common diagnosis and the good news is there's a lot of things that we can do to help. So in order to meet the criteria for ADHD, a child needs to display problem behaviors that are significant enough that they're causing problems in multiple areas of their life. So perhaps they're falling behind academically at school, they're having relationship problems, and maybe getting in a lot of trouble for not following directions or for getting important things. Um, those are some common things that we see um, with kids that struggle with ADHD. In younger children, we see them climbing on things like crazy and running around and acting really impulsively. And one really important thing to understand about ADHD is children and adults don't forget things, don't have the symptoms of ADHD on purpose. It's not defiance. So that's really important to keep in mind. And also that it's frustrating for them too, because commonly people with ADHD will forget things they care about, you know, and, and that can feel pretty bad. So, so just recognize that this is not them faking it or lying. They, they probably truly forgot. So forgetfulness is a common thing. Getting off tasks. So focusing is really difficult, right? Especially academic t tasks that require a lot of thinking and concentration. You know, that kind of stuff can be really difficult. If they have the hyper piece of the diagnosis, that means it's also really difficult for them to hold still. So if they're supposed to sit there in class and listen to a teacher talk, but they're supposed to hold still and be quiet the whole time, that can be really, really hard. So there's strategies that we can do that can help. So for example, sometimes giving a child a small fidget to hold in class can help them focus. So for example, my husband has ADHD and our best conversations are in the car because he has the task of driving while we talk. And so this helps him be able to focus better on our conversation because he has driving as a fidget in a sort of way. So this can look different um, at every age, what sort of things that we can do to help make focusing easier. Um, but there are lots of strategies and you can explore with your child to figure out what works best for him or her. So the research on ADHD says that the combination of medication and behavioral treatment is what is most effective. So not everybody with ADHD needs medication. A lot of it can be managed behaviorally. So one really important thing to remember with ADHD is reward systems where you have to wait a really long time for the reward is not going to work. It needs to be immediate. So as soon as the child finishes the task, they're getting that reward, whatever it is. So that's really important. Um, it's also important to recognize that if we're doing punishment-based systems only for a child with ADHD, that's not likely to work. We wanna do reinforcement systems that are immediate um, so that the child has the contingencies in place. So another really important thing to do is to help give the child strategies to manage where they struggle. So say they're super forgetful, then help them in any way you can to come up with a system to help them remember things better. So if they're old enough to have electronics, maybe that means putting alarms in their phones or maybe their school agenda has reminders in it or maybe you put post-it notes up places, you know, so try to come up with a system that's going to help them. And so once you identify where their problem areas are, you can help them develop skills to work around those things and manage those things. And then you reward them for working on that behavior and developing that skill. So if you Google executive functioning skills, or if you Google activities to develop ex executive functioning skills, you'll find a lot of really cool activities to help people with ADHD. 
So executive functioning skills um, target skills that are related to the diagnosis. So organizational skills, focus skills, mental concent concentration, things like that. So the cool thing about the brain is the behaviors that we do physically change our brain. And so if we work on these executive functioning skills with our kids um, who struggle with ADHD, we're gonna change their brain and we're gonna help them to not struggle as much. So there are a ton of activities that you can do to help kids work on developing these skills. Some of it is just providing them opportunities to organize things and help them develop organizational skills. Some of it is working on tasks to help them with memory and focus and concentration. So the, there's a lot of really, really good resources that break down how to work on that. And I'd strongly recommend that you work on those kind of activities with a child who's struggling with ADHD. All right, I hope this video helps. There are a lot of strategies and there's a lot of hope to help people manage ADHD well and live successful lives with it. And so if you have further questions, feel free to contact me at Parks Valley Autism. All right, thanks so much.